Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting video for all you Mac users out there. In this video, we will be talking about the top 5 free Mac utility apps that I personally use every day. These apps are small, efficient and make our Mac experience even better. So let's dive right in. Starting off our list is Velja. Velja is a fantastic Mac utility app that I absolutely love and use all the time. It solves the common issue of opening links in different browsers. If you are like me and use multiple browsers for different purposes, Velja is a game changer. With Wilza, you can set presets based on domains and URLs so that when you click on a link, it automatically opens in your preferred browser. No more copying and pasting links between browsers. I also love that Wilza lets me set a secondary browser. I can open any link in secondary browser using the function click option. For example, as you can see, when I click on this link, it opens in Arc, which is my default browser. However, when I hold down the function key and click the link, it opens in Safari. Plus. You can even set it to open links in specific apps. For example, here we have a link for the Notion app. When I click on it, you will notice that instead of going to the browser, it directly opens in the Notion app. The app is incredibly convenient and once you set it up, you don't have to worry about it again. This single app will save you a lot of time. Next up, we have Mackie. Now, macOS does provide a clipboard, but it doesn't save your clipboard history. That's where Mackie comes in. Mackie is a clipboard manager that saves all your copied items allowing you to access them with a simple keyboard shortcut. But that's not all. Mackie also has a auto pasting and paste without formatting features making it incredibly easy to paste your copied items without any hassle wherever you want. You can also customize the number of clipboard history items you want to save and choose whether you just want to keep text or also images and files. Moving on, we have Aldente. If you often use your Mac plugged into monitor, this app is a lifesaver. Alente allows you to limit the charge of your MacBook to a certain percentage, ensuring that your battery is not always at 100% and prolonging its overall health. Additionally, Alente has a discharge feature that lets you run MacBook on battery even when connected to a power source. This is great for maintaining your battery's health. While there is a paid version with more features, I personally use the free version to restrict my battery charge percentage to 80% whenever my MacBook is plugged in. Next up, let's talk about Rectangle. If you have ever used Windows, you know that window management in Windows is much smoother and more efficient compared to macOS. With Rectangle, you can easily bridge that gap. It's a Mac utility app that allows you to manage window snapping with ease. With Rectangle, you can easily snap windows to the left or right half of your screen, the four corners, or the center. You can perform these actions by drag and drop method or using the keyboard shortcut. This is incredibly useful for multitasking and creating the perfect workspaces. Last but not least, we have Hidden Bar. Now you may have noticed that all the apps we have mentioned so far add icons to your menu bar. If you prefer a clean and distraction free menu bar, Hidden Bar is here to help. Hidden Bar allows you to hide the menu bar icons you don't want to see, giving you a clutter free work experience. You can easily reveal the icons by clicking on the app's icon or using a keyboard shortcut. It's a set it and forget it utility app that keeps your menu bar tidy. And there you have it for our top 5 free Mac utility apps that I use every day. These apps truly enhance the Mac experience and make our lives a little easier. If you want to download any of these apps, the links are in the description below. And hey, if you're looking for more free Mac apps, be sure to check out this video next. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech related content. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.